Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. Yes, we've been taking a hiatus off of this game, and the reason why? Simple, because, uh, <laughs> well, we've uploaded about 11 of them consecutively, and, well, I can't just keep uploading, you know, ships, just a game where I just build a ship, take it out, and say, yes, I'd like it, or no, this not good ship. So, uh, with that being said, though, we are back. We are going to start uploading a few more. We still got plenty, but we're not going to be uploading consecutively. We'll upload it here and there. But this ship, on the other hand, is one that everyone who's a big fan of the Royal Navy just thinks, what if? And it's a big what if. And that is the N3 slash G3 design. So we are uh building though today the g3 model uh or design the g3 design is the battle cruiser design n3 is the battleship now there are some differences one that i will start talking about now but the difference is uh guns and armor so you're gonna have two of them uh, two light cruisers and the enemy will have uh, assume that we're fighting the germans and uh, they'll have one battleship, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and two destroyers. Yeah, they'll have that. So, engagement range, I'll say 2,500, 2,800 meters. Yeah, no, that's 28,000 meters. Jesus Christ. Oh jeez, uh, uh, I'm having problems. Uh, we'll put it at twenty-five thousand. I think that's that's decent enough. Uh, I misread that, so we'll put it nineteen. Well, these these ships were supposed to be made in twenty-one, so we'll put it in thirty. Yeah, that'll be good. So let me get to talking about her. So the G three class battle cruisers were planned by the Royal Navy after right after the end of World War One in response to the United States Navy, the Imperial Japanese Navy, uh, saying that they were going to expand their navies. So the Royal Navy wanted four of these ships, and these ships would have been larger, uh, faster, and more heavily armed than at the time the existing battleships uh these ships were supposed to be considered fast battleships since they were balanced very well in every aspect of uh, a warship at least a large warship capital ship at the time in terms of armor speed and armament but they were designated as battle cruisers due to their higher speed and although it says lesser firepower 16 inch guns are pretty good uh more of the slightly thinner armor than the planned in three class battleship so the difference between the in threes and the g3s so the g3 is a battle cruiser it's fast at 32 knots with the armament of 16 inch guns though the armor is what the the royal navy is considering quite thin even though i think it's quite good whereas the n3s instead of 16 inch guns packed 18 inch guns and they would have had the same displacement same size just more armor and less speed in fact that's that's how it is that's what it says here the n3 uh the g3s were armed with nine 16 inch guns while expected to uh, hit a top speed of 32 knots, while the N3s would have carried nine 18-inch guns with the same displacement and uh, heavier armor at the expense of the slower speed. So, yeah, the G3s uh, would have weighed between 48 and 53,000 tons. Uh, I put her at the maximum, which was fully loaded at 53,000, but it's more like 54 because it's 53,909 tons. 856 feet long with a beam of 106 feet and a draft of 35 feet she would have had four geared steam turbines that could have pushed her at a top speed of 32 knots and her armament was three uh 16 inch guns in each uh turret and eight six inch, uh twin 
barreled uh, six inch gun mounts, six single barreled 4.7 inch anti aircraft gun mounts, four 10 barreled two pounder pom pom gun mounts, and two 24.5 inch torpedo tubes, which I know would have been below the waterline, but I put them above the waterline because they got a little bit more wiggle room. And then the armor the, uh, is in between what these uh, estimates sort of were. Well, not really estimates because, well, they had all the blueprints and everything. But the belt would be between 12 and 14 inches. The deck between 3 and 8. Turrets between 8 and 17.5 inches. The conning tower would have been 8 inches. And the bulkhead between 10 and 12 inches. Everything else that's... the. the whatever the game says the secondary armor thickness i think i put it at 12 but i mean yeah overall i think this design is a perfect fast battleship i know that the uh my balancing is like it's a 10.5 on the four i mean i'm sorry but i tried to just make them look how they would some people say oh no just focus on the armament and the armor some people say no it doesn't look like the right thing but i just try to go for how it looks and seeing if i can get it all right so yeah Let's take the ship out and see how she does. All right, so we have two beautiful G3 uh, designs, battle cruisers slash fast battleships, whichever you'd like to prefer. Two light cruisers. The Germans have one weird battleship, two long heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and two destroyers. So let's see if the G3s and their 16-inch guns and speed and slightly-ish thin armor can uh, withstand this uh, German fleet, if not possibly destroy it. So let's speed everything up. Are we running parallel to them or not? So, who's the biggest ship? You're the biggest ship. Yeah, we're running parallel to them. We're running the opposite way of them, though. Having our light cruiser screen us. I'm going to turn in a little bit. Please do not run into a serpent. They said that they fixed the uh, AI where they will not collide with your ship or their own uh, as often. Yeah. Shoot, shoot for the gap serpent. You got that. Diamond. Bimbo. Bimbo? That's a battleship name? Oh well. So our 16 inch guns are opening up. Our secondaries are them. Let's uh, have the big guns fire at uh, one of the large ships. She's large and she's not in smoke so she should be an easy target. All right, they're really sail sailing away from us, so uh, I think it's time that we turn, follow. We got the speed. All that we have to do is not get hit by a torpedo. Kaiser Barbarossa. That's good. So what's her thickest part of her armor? 18 inches, probably her turrets. Yep, turret, 18.5 inches. Her belt is thin. So we can possibly hurt her. I just say that the G3 design is sort of that. They look powerful and yet oddly beautiful. Don't know why. HMS Diamond just sunk. So that leaves Serpent. And us. We need, uh... If 
brought our torpedoes, both of us? Man, our guns are just, we're just missing most of our shots. Did we even hit the shear? No. Come on, boys. our second torpedo. I doubt that it'll hit. We ran out of ammo for our torpedoes. I am not surprised. We fired everything. Light cruiser 7-inch gun. There we go. Now our 16-inch guns are starting to do, do some damage. And she sailed away. I guess it's because we got some good hits on her, so she doesn't want to be hit again. But our secondaries on this light cruiser. Crap, they're crossing our T. Okay. Big guns. Fire. small gun fire at that destroyer. She hasn't fired her torpedoes yet. Please, 16 inch guns, please don't miss here. Our 16 inch guns are hitting. Can we flood? Oh, that's the, uh, yeah, that is the battleship. Yeah, she's taking on some water. We've been hit ourselves, but we're doing fine. We're doing better then sort of. We might lose, yeah, we're going to lose all of our light cruisers now. We're the center of attention. The enemy ship's huge, so we have a 480%, a 486% uh, firing solution, or uh, accuracy bonus, which... Yeah, we got an eight. We got a nineteen percent firing solution. Benbo, please. Oh, torpedoes! I did not notice those until the last second. At least nobody got hit. Hitting B five. Ouch. Okay, we got hit. Now we cannot really rely on the armor. Are flooding. Yeah, they don't have any flood damage, but they got structural damage. Six-inch guns are just going okay. Sixteen-inch guns are slightly accurate. So are theirs. But we can, apparently we can bounce shots. Bimbo's Bimbo is taking some fire, mostly from the light cruisers and the heavy cruisers. Oh, 
Ooh, destroyed one of our tubes. Thank God that we used up all the torpedoes, though. fact that we have thinner armor, that's another consideration. Destroyed one of their secondaries. Come on. Okay, we have a 54% structural integrity. They have 47, now 45, so... But we're flooding, that's our problem. They're going straight through the deck, I think. Alright, I'm going to pull a crazy little maneuver. Gets us a little bit closer. At the same time, they can hit us. There we go. Our six inch guns are really starting to do a number on that DD. goes one of the destroyers. Now the six inch guns are going to open up on those cruisers that have torpedoes. Admiral Shear, Zelvitz. Their 11 inch guns are out, so yeah. All they're going to really do, these six inch guns, is probably scratch the paint. We need the 16 inch guns, but they are occupied with the battleship, who is at 22% structural integrity. Torpedo hit? Whoa, one of our torpedoes hit him? Hmm. I didn't realize that one of us still had torpedoes. Oh, they're nearly out of ammo. Because then again, so are we. Please. Alright, we got them on fire. And they're fixing to put it out, too. And they are out of ammunition. Not fired their torpedoes. Ooh, both of their engines are damaged. There's flooding. Come on. We still got 300 rounds, but I mean, it'd be nice to, you know, have enough. Doing damage, just edging away at them. Our 5-inch guns are starting to open up on them. On Zelvitz and... Emerald Shear is not fired yet. 7%, come on. We got a 40%... Penetration percentage. Mm. Come on, revenge for sinking our cruisers. 5%. Come on. Destruction of the secondary tower. Damage of it. Damage to the main gun. It's guns firing every every second. 3%. Come on, it's the last, last 
few dominoes before the whole rotten structure comes down. Come on. She's slow as hell. Come on, boys. Ooh. 0.1%. And there she goes. Due to structural damage. You know what that means? Focus on the cruiser. Focus on the heavy cruisers. They're the ones that have been... They, they wasted all their ammunition on us. Fire away at them. Oh my goodness, they are flooding fast. And there goes Zelda. It's Admiral Shear. You're next. Sixteen-inch gun not being able to do something. Destroyer, destroyer. She fire her torpedoes. Yes, she did. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Where is this all coming from? That light cruiser. Oh, they want revenge. Our two inch guns are opening up. They are too close for comfort. She's fixing to fire those torpedoes. Yep, she fired them. No. Uh, in the bow. Took two in the bow. We're fine ish. Everything just fire at her. She's the she's the reason we're dying. Alright, who's the new flagship? HMS Benbo. That light cruiser over there is like, what is going on? Admiral Shear. Invincible out of ammunition? No, no, no. She's fine. Fire normally, boys. Two 16-inch guns went through, but it wasn't enough. She is on fire, though. cruiser is left. This should just be like the Age of Sail. Our big guns should be just... should vaporize this little ship. Yep. All it took was one salvo. What do you know? We won. Easy. Sort of. Semi-easy. No, I will not play this battle again. So, 
yep that was the g3 battle cruiser so i hope you all like this video if you did please go ahead like and if you want comment comments are always welcomed even criticism and everything doesn't matter uh if y'all like these videos go ahead check out the channel there's about 11 plus of them now probably 12 due to this video and uh yeah if y'all like those videos go ahead and subscribe so thank you all for watching and have a great day